Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach Kodash. I want to give double honors to the elders of GMS, Great Millstone, who do real well. I want to say Shalom to all you Akim out there pushing this truth and sincerity and faith and fear out of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's judgments across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. Now, today's uh, 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 lesson or exhortation we're going to go into um, it's going to be more of a uh, a uh, upliftment, okay? More of a, a, a inspiration, inspirational uh, a lesson or exhortation, okay? And um, this has everything to do with strength, all right? And uh, Yahweh Ratazah, rep, all you uh, 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 sincere Akim, all right? And a few sincere uh, uh, sisters, okay? Are edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, correct? But um, yes, so I would say about last week or the week before that, I was actually watching this uh, movie uh, Samson, correct? It's a, it's an older movie. It's not that old, but you know, maybe like uh, mid mid 2000, 2010, so something like that. But uh, it was my first time actually seeing the movie. Now I uh, actually read the. The uh, accounts of Samson in the scriptures, right? And um, never seen the movie though, so I actually watched the movie and uh, spirit jumped on me because I I noticed that every time he needed strength, he asked the Lord to give him strength, right? And uh, that's basically what I wanted to go into and make that point, you know, uh, uh, um, um, the times that we're living in and the times to come, all right, which are coming, you know, quicker, you know quicker and quicker and faster and faster you know are more in haste every day and um you know we we're going to be going through a lot of things you know a lot of uh, uh scary and, and uh, uh nervous times you know i mean the scriptures do say that that um that uh Salakia, that the elect is going to be scarcely saved okay all right so i mean it's good it's going to be a a, a, a very uh, a, a fearful time, all right. But you know, even even in the times that we're in now, you know, in your day to day life, you know, you need strength, all right. And I'm just here to tell you, you know, just ask the Lord for strength, you know, in any and everything, man. You know, uh, 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 the scriptures say uh, uh, um, when you act, when you uh, pray, ask for spiritual things. We're not to ask for carnal things, but, you know, uh, spiritual gifts, all right? You know, brothers, you know, to give a few examples, you know, you might you might need a, 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 a strength um, with uh, a courage, you know. Uh, um, you know, you might need strength, you know, uh, you might be tired or sickly, you might, might need to go to work, you know, you might, need, you might need strength for that. You know, you might need strength to, you know, hold your composure, you know, Satan might be, you know, a, 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 a messing with you, you know, you know, through, uh, uh, um, you know, people, you know, your woman, or, you know, your family or anything, you know, a job, you know, and you might need to, you know, you might, you might need, need a strength to, you know, hold, hold your composure, man, you know, you know, things like that. I'm just giving examples, you know, and, uh, you know, I just want to actually go into the scriptures, you know, just like the brother I now says, you know, uh, uh, um, more scriptures all right and let's talk all right so let's get into it and um on the screen here i actually googled uh, uh samson's strength and i came across this picture and i thought it was powerful and uh i felt through the spirit I actually go right with the lesson so i'm actually gonna keep this on the screen i'm actually gonna get right into uh the story of uh samson all right so in the scriptures it reads uh the book of judges all right, chapter 16, chapter 16, verse 20, I'll start at 21 so that we can set the scene so that you, you know, so that you understand what's going on here, all right? So, uh, 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 Samson, you know, dealing with the Philistines, all right, <coughs> which, which was his enemies, you see, at the time, you know, the Philistines were... You know, they had captured uh, 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 Samson, all right, and bound him. And to get right into it, it's verse 21. 
uh, the book of Judges, chapter 16, verse 21. It says, but the but the Philistines took him, took him, all right, it's talking about Samson, took him and put and put his eyes, so I can put out his, his eyes, you see? He actually uh, 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 put his eyes out, he couldn't see, you see? And it says, uh, and brought him and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with 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 fetters of brass and he did grind in the prison house all right you see because it's you know he 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 was in pain you know he was in pain because uh, um they had uh, uh put his eyes out you see and they bound him you know with with a, a, a chains of brass you see they put him in a prison you see and let me go down to uh Let's see. Well, I start at 26, but 28 is the point. So we go from verse 26 to 28. It says, and Samson, now the, now, uh, uh, the Philistines, they were having like a big get together, big gathering, uh, women women and men uh, inside of this big, uh, uh, um, I would guess it was a temple. Okay. And um, let me see. I actually want to. Get that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually going to get to that part. Uh, verse 26, it says, And Samson said unto the lad that held him by the hand, Suffer me, suffer me that I may feel the pillars whereupon the house standeth, that I may lean upon them. Okay, so he basically asked uh, 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 the man for help to help him uh, lean, you know, lean upon the pillars. Okay. Now, the man just thought that he was just wanted to just lean upon the pillars to get some rest, you know, because they wanted him to uh, 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 basically entertain them. You know, it says uh, um, they wanted sport and they wanted um, him to make them sport. Right. So but but he had he had something else in mind. Verse 27, it says now the house was full of men and women and all the lords of the Philistines were there and there were upon the roof. About three thousand men and women that beheld while Samson made sport. You see, <clears throat> so the place was uh, uh, pretty packed. You see. Now, now remember, he's leaning upon the pillar, and it says, verse twenty-eight. It says, and Samson called unto the Lord and said, okay. So he called unto Yahweh at that moment. You see, he's tired. You know, his eyes have been uh, 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 um. Uh, uh, you know, put out, all right? And he's a prisoner, all right? He says, and, uh, and, Samson, and Samson called unto Yahweh and said, O Lord, power, okay? O Yahweh, power, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, like only this once, O, o, o Yahweh, that I may be at once. Uh, avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes you see verse 20 verse 29 it says and, uh, and Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the, the house stood and on and on which it, it was it was born born up of the two which with his right hand it's so like it, of the one with his right hand and of the other with his left and Samson said let me die with the Philistines and he bowed himself with all his might and the house fell upon the lords all right so it fell upon you know uh, uh, um, the women and men all right as far as the uh, uh, Philistines all right said and and upon all the people that were that were therein you see so <clears throat> He basically he basically wanted to get revenge on them for everything that they have done to him, you see. But the point is, he needed strength. He needed strength. And he asked the Lord. You see? Now, you know, that's a that's a you know a, a um pretty pretty serious situation, you know. But it could be something basic in our lives that we're going through, you know. Like I'm like I made the examples earlier, you know. You might, you know, uh, uh um 
You might need mental strength. You might need physical strength. You might need uh, spiritual strength, you know, which which these are all things that we need because we're still in these chains of darkness. All right. Which is which is the flesh, you know. A lot of times you might you might want to ask, you know, uh, uh, um, ask the Lord for strength to help you overcome something, help help you overcome uh, Satan, huh? you know, you know, demons and, you know, uh, 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 um, wicked thoughts, you know. You see, let me get some more examples. And uh, oh, yeah. Also, the Lord didn't give us Salaki. Let me turn the screen here. The Lord didn't give us uh, a spirit of fear either, but we'll get into that in uh, 2 Timothy. All right. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 2, verse 8. It says, Ask of me, and I and I shall give you the heathen for thine inheritance. All right. It says, In the utmost parts of the earth for thy, for thy possession. Okay. But the point is, the Lord said, Ask of me, and I shall give you. All right. You see? So all we have to do is ask the Lord, you know, he shall provide to you, you know, what you need in that time, you see, and only what you need, you see, and, and, and you know, in, in, a, in a certain cases, you know, throughout the scriptures, you know, things that you want, you see, if you're doing what's pleasing in the eyes of the Lord, all right, let me get another one here, let me get the book of Matthew, chapter 7. We'll go to verse 7. All right? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7. It says, Ask, and it shall be given. Then it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. You see? The point is, ask, and ye shall be... It's like, and, and, and it shall be given you. All right? It shall be given to you. You see? All we have to do is ask the Lord. You see? And that's the way the world, you know, uh, 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 um, um, two thirds of our people, the heathen, you know, Esau, you know, the Edomites, you know, which is so-called white man, woman and child, you know, you know, that's what they do. You know, they, you know, they don't, they don't, you know, when, when they're in need, they don't go to the Lord, you know, society and, 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 and uh, uh, um, um, Esau, you know, he teaches everybody to, you know, uh, uh, um, take, take matters into your own hands, you know, be carnal, you see. The last thing you want to do is turn to the Lord, you see, in the eyes of Esau. And that's what he teaches the world and the people, you see. But us being, but us being spiritual, uh, 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 um, you know, of, of the hopeful elect, you see, and fighting, and fighting for that, 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 that uh, uh, um, first class ticket, you see, to get to the kingdom, all right, to be of the elect, you see. We, 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 we come to the Lord first, man, when we need something, man. You see, when we need strength, we come to the Lord, man. When we need anything, we come to the Lord. You see? Let me get another one. Let's go back to... Let's go back to the book of Psalms. So I can wear it. Oh, there it is. Book of Psalms 145. And 18 and 19. Okay. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 145, verse 18 through 19. Alright, it says, Yahweh is nigh unto all 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 them that call upon him. You see? Yahweh is near to all of us that call upon him. Alright. It says, To to all that call upon him in truth. Alright? You see? These people in the world, they don't, they don't, they don't call on what well, well, they don't call unto the Lord anyway, you know. They call unto their other gods, you know. They might call unto their woman. They might call unto uh, uh, um, that that demonic spirit, you know, that they that they slap the the name Jesus Christ on, you see. Or you know, a lot of them might might call unto Satan, you see. But we call on to we call on we call on to the only power, you see, which is Yahweh, you see, in the name of His Son. All right. So that's Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you see. And the Lord is near unto all of us, man, that call upon him. All right. Verse 19, it says, and it says, he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. You see? And if you're and if you're striving to to to, you know, you know, do what the Lord has told has commanded us to do, you see, then 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 you fear him, Salakia. 
you fear him, you see. And, and what does it say? He will fulfill the desire of, of them that fear him. He will, it's like he also will hear their cry and will save them, you see. All of these things that we go through on our day-to-day, -day, you see, our day-to-day -day struggles, you know. It might be, you know, uh, uh, um, brothers might, you know, have a hard time finding jobs, you know, might be jumping from job to job to job, you know, can barely keep keep a job, you know, uh, uh, bills, uh, uh, residents, uh, uh, you know, et cetera, you know, these are these are all things that, you know, you know, in our day to day lives that we, you know, uh, spiritually cry about man, and sometimes even physically cry about it, man, you know, you know. We're, we are we are yet this day in our captivity as, as the scriptures say you know we we are we, we are not freed uh, 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 physically yet man okay we're freed spiritually you see spiritually and mentally man this is Matthew 21 verse 22 okay it says in all things in all things whatsoever ye ask in prayer, Believing, you see, because you have to pray to the Lord and ask Him for things that you need, man. All right, but then here's the magic word: believing. You see, we got you got to have faith that when you ask the Lord for something, okay, when you ask the Lord for help, you know, where, where there be strength in any area, you know, mentally, physically, spiritually, you see, you ask the Lord for spiritual gifts, all right. You ask the Lord for help, all right. You have to believe, all right, and have faith. All right, that the Lord is going to deliver, okay? That that the Lord is going to hear, is that the, that the Lord is going to hear your prayer, okay? You see, it says all in in all things, all right. So that's everything that you do, all right. In all things whatsoever ye shall ask, in prayer, believing, ye shall receive, all right. That's plain. You see, you got to have faith and believe that the Lord is actually going to answer your prayers, all right. Let's go to the book of James, chapter 1, verse 5, verse 5 and 6, okay? It says, if any of you lack wisdom, all right, let him ask of, of, of Yahweh that giveth to all men uh, 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 li liberally, all right? So he gives it to us freely, all right? It says, and, and upbraideth. And abradeth not, and it shall be given. All right, but you know, the point is, you know, like it says in uh, verse five, it says, "If any if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of of Yahweh." All right. The point is, all we have to do is ask, even if you even if you lack wisdom, you know. And we all and we all we all lack wisdom. All right, and we're still learning. All right, verse six it says, "But let but let him ask in faith." Right? You got to have faith when you ask. Nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Okay? You can't you can't you can't you can't waver when you ask the Lord for anything, okay? Especially wisdom, all right? You got to have faith, you know? You have to know that the Lord is actually going to actually uh, 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 um, um, come through, you see? But the Lord is actually going to deliver. All right. You have to, and, and you have to be patient, okay? And always remember that Yahweh will always give you what you need and what you require, okay? You, Yahweh will always give us what we need and what we require, okay? To grow in the spirit, all right? You see? Because we're trying to be as close to perfect and, 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 and unblemished as possible, man. All right, until the Lord comes back, until Yahweh Shai comes back, all right, and saves us, all right, the real salvation, all right, going back to what I mentioned earlier, the Lord didn't give us a spirit of fear, okay, it says, uh, the book is the second Timothy chapter one, verse seven, it says, for, for Yahweh have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind, you see, and that's what we're supposed to have, man. All right. Now the scriptures tell us what love is. Okay. If you love me, keep my commandments, like it says in the scriptures. Okay. We're supposed to keep the commandments, right, to the best of our ability on this side, because we can't keep all of the commandments. But you keep what you can. All right. 
we are practicing the righteous the, the righteous acts all right you see and one way of of, of, of of actually practicing the righteous acts okay is 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 you know calling upon the Lord all right when you're in need okay especially when you need strength all right this is the book of first Chronicles chapter 16. Chapter 16, verse 11. And it reads, Seek the Lord, all right? Seek Yahweh and his strength. Seek his face continually. You see? And that's what we're supposed to do now, all right? Seek the Lord and seek his face continually, all right? Seek to please the Lord, man, all right? And how do you do that, all right? We have, we, have, we, have, we have to shave off that old man as the scriptures say you know and we and we need to and we need the Lord all right we need strength from the Lord you see to do to do so all right so we need to ask the Lord okay ask the Lord for strength of mind strength of spirit and strength of body you see strength to overcome a, a, a demons all right a, a demonic thoughts you see you know, even even you know even even getting through this uh, 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 um, um, this uh, captivity, man. All right, because this is it. You know, this is our last captivity, man. You know that right there alone. You know, knowing that that right there alone should push you. You see, it should push all of us. You know, it should push all of us to keep you know uh, 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 um, sharpening our sharpening our mind, sharpening our spirit, sharpening our swords, man. You see. And staying sharp in the spirit, all right? Growing, you see? Growing and getting stronger, all right? Asking the Lord for strength, man, you know? Asking asking, asking the Lord for anything that we need, you see? I'm going to end it there. Um, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekha I want to say Shalom and Ababa Ball. Keep the strength, Akim.